Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and we're gonna be talking about the best SRs and Rs. Since I know that there are a lot of free to play players out there that want to take advantage of lower rarity heroes or units, then we must cover and discover all of them. So we'll start off with R. So I think you only have two R's here that uh, I think you can can really really use number one is going to be isa so isa is a caster guys and uh, her specialty is um enemy movement she can clump together enemies she can move them she, she it's more of enemy placement and uh, she's very strategic and if you pair her with somebody who can really have a great aoe damage within a specific area then you'd be happy that you have her but for me i think she she excels in those scenarios but you have to pair her with um another unit that can more or less um be her sidekick in terms of dealing damage in terms of that area where she pulled units in um she's she's one of the um she's one of the units that i started in cbt and she still continues to give value actually to those who want to use her at our rarity okay so next up would be chlor never cease to amaze me why chlor is r because of her burst damage for ultimate and also for attacks so um i'm not sure why she's r she should be sr the damage that she has she's also a caster by the way so if you are looking for an air caster she deals a lot of burst damage as well you just need to make sure that you level her up to increase her damage so both of them so cloar and who's the other one cloar and isa are your best value at r if you don't have any casters then you can actually use any of those two um best R's in this game so far so next category will be your srs starting off with the only one that i don't have at this point which is screamer so screamer is um um if i remember screamer has a little bit of buff and uh, and um and heals so she's an all-around support that you should have on your team um, again, you can't go wrong with her. So group, healing, buffs. If you need those two qualities, then you must get her for your team. So unfortunately, I don't have her at this point, but I'm not giving up and still looking for her. And so far, we'll move on to the next one. It's going to be Black. So Black here is an SR um, Ranger. So, so far, let's uh, take a look at... Um, black's kit here so black is um more or less a damage dealer for aoe small range inflicts encroaching cold um with massive damage so also you can't go wrong with him basic attack uh encroaching cold as i mentioned attack speed is reduced if they have cold if you want to control your enemies in terms of attack speed then there you go so he has also interruption he can interrupt enemies with sonic bomb and again a nice hero to have at sr and also a great value so also there's a bonus attack speed for six seconds this is for one of his active skill and um, again if you don't have any choices or you don't have any choices um, as far as um, Ranger is concerned, then you can go with uh, with Black. So moving on, and also um, Water is also a hard spot to fill. Um, black is a Water um, element, so try to use him if you have him right now. And also SRs and, S and Rs are actually easy to get copies of. So again for free to play and beginners these are the units that are going to be of great value to you so moving on we have uh, Follett here 
So Fault is an animal caster. Deals AoE damage in a large area versus, you know, versus black. And goes up uh, even higher if there are allies covering her. So as far as her skills, so damage, magic, damage. So this one, um, damage increase for her passive wind breath. So animal animal's character skill can be buffed by wind breath. And she is great AoE damage, guys. You can actually um, try to use her. She is a caster, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So again, you have two choices. If you have Cloar and if you have Follet, you can actually choose from them. Um, there are a lot of wind casters around. But if you don't have some, like Siak, if you don't have Siak or Cloar, then Follet is actually a good choice as well for AoE damage. And moving on to the next, which is Queen. So Queen is an assassin. Um, deals great AoE um, damage for an assassin. Let's take a look at her skills. So melee, swap melee and ranged weapon according to distance. So this is what I like about her. She doesn't really need to be up front. She sometimes um, goes up front, goes at the back, and does a good deal of AoE damage. So immune to incoming damage and deal. Physical damage equal to 110 AD to the attacker. Also for her ultimate, this is just a lot of damage. And also for her active skill, um, this is damage as well. Most of her skills are built for AoE, not much for single target. So if you're looking for, and this is her, her um, class is Assassin. I keep on forgetting. So if you if your class is, is an assassin if and if you don't have Iluya yet, then she is going to be a great value at the assassin class, and she is a fire element. Next up is going to be Armand. Armand guys is a free unit that most of us have. So so far for Armand, um, I like the combination of her kit. She has a lot of damage um and also what you call this good at tanking and also good at damage so she's a mix of a damage dealer in a tank let's go through her skills here so this is um damage 120 130 percent um as she misses uh hp armand gains eight energy which you know quickens her her use of her ultimate and this one is also um, immunity to M damage, but take 50% more P damage. So interrupt an interrupted uh, unit uh, has their challenge and charge skill stops. So she can do interrupts as well. This one is um, also um, deals damage to enemies in an arc and uh, inflicts waste away ad is reduced by 15 percent so she has ad reduction uh, re reduction in her kit and also the last one is gains one stack of assault so increase attack speed by 30 percent for six seconds so as you can see her kit is a mix of both um offense and defense probably one of her well-balanced um tanks in this game so let's uh, take a look so officially armand is called a guardian so it takes five percent less damage so again um if you remember this guys this um f this we got for free this set you must equip with armand if you intend to use armand um this set is actually built for for tanks or for guardians so again if you don't have any of the ssr tanks in the game then go for Armand. I don't think you'll go wrong with her. I've been using her since um, since uh, close beta uh, from, from from the beta, from the limited beta, and I didn't I didn't really have a problem with her. So again, she's of best value for the tank position. Okay, and the last one that we have is going to be Roko. So so far, we also got Roko for free. So I don't think that you guys will have a problem in terms of the tank department and also for your healer. For me, I think still Roko is, is the best healer. If you really want to concentrate on 
a healer only then roko is actually the best for me so adora so steady flow of healing for everyone and ultimate energy at a reasonable cost so both healing and ultimate energy she refreshes so let's take a look at her skill here so roko here recovers hp above 70 percent increase ultimate energy recharge by 12 to 13 percent so this adds to the caster's increase of five percent each so again um this helps you recycle skills as quick as possible so again by this passive alone she is a must bring at this point and um this one is healing this one is healing and this one is for blinding so physical attacks from blinded units have a 20 percent chance to miss so again if you just want her to you want to use her as a healer plus um additional you know additional um recycle abilities for um your ultimate energy recharge then she is probably actually she, she's probably the best sr in this bunch in terms of value aside from aside from uh what they call it from arman so that is it guys for the best srs and rs that we have um as far as the rest we don't have new ones yet at this point so if you're planning to to mow through a lot of content you can really use um srs probably one ssr if you could if you if you're you know if you're not lucky enough to get a lot of ssrs then you can really use these srs like roko is you know roko would be your staple healer arman would be your staple healer then just add to the rest your dps your dps would be either a ranger a caster or an assassin or a hoplite so those are the three so probably roko and arman can be your staple um core if you don't have a lot especially if you're free to play then go for them guys i don't think you're gonna be you know you, you're gonna grow wrong in using them and i actually been using them because so far i have only fen which i'm happy about because she's a ranger and she does a lot of aoe um at this point i have a lot of um, versatility in my team and queen is here again um i could you know mix and match in terms of what units i want to use at a given time so that is it comment on the comment section below if you think um i missed someone in terms of uh, good and um, good ssrs and good r's i'm sorry good srs and r's so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here